Hi guys, welcome back to Forma Therapy. PD here. Today we're going to be checking out Last Parade by Bam Bam. Interesting title, interesting opening shot right into his eyes. Let's just go. Whoa, what is this sound? Oh my god, Mo whoa. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh, this shit is so catchy. What are we doing, Bam Bam? Wow. but it's also shot extraordinarily well too wow yeah that's right oh oh god the momentum of these cuts are nuts How can something how can something be so artistic yet so simple yet so complex all at the same time? I mean that's the sound that's the sign of a great music video. Um wow. 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 Portraying a, an oppressive what what seems like an oppressive totalitarian dystopian government uh little hunger games uh star wars-esque in that way one side and the other side sort of like this rebellious also outlander sort of a little mad max aesthetic sort of uh group raging against the machine the bam bam playing both parts uh really really well done it's shot very, very well. I want to watch that again, and I do want to just point out some parts that I thought were really, really great in the music video. Um, but that, like, we got to talk about that last shot, that the, the paintings that they portray, quite literally, just the, art, the artistry of that. Bam Bam is nuts. Bam Bam is absolutely crazy. Uh, for a song like this, it feels so... Even though it's hip-hop driven, it feels operatic. B 
because of I feel like the visuals. I'm really, really impressed. Uh, let's go ahead and watch that again. Okay, from the opening shot, it's just so immediately eye catching, huh? <laughs> Oh. On a directing level, that's just really, really well done. They build up the tension really well, I feel like. Extreme close-up on Bam Bam's eyes is immediately going to grab your attention. And then the slow-mo of him walking up, and then the wide establishing, and the big, bold text that just takes up the entire screen. And then... On the drop, ooh, our first taste of the, the sort of painting aesthetic. It's so, so cool. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's so... Oh, I love, like, the very, like, creepy gothic influences. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, the horse has, like, a... Oh, it's like a skeleton horse. Got plague doctor masks. Uh... These skeleton men. Oh. Motion. Oh, and the Did slow mo of that. Flowing that wave like ocean. Every bad vibe, nice lotion. Better get high on emotion. Oh, and a river of blood, too. All of, all of these lyrics, too, I think they paint sun. They, you know, they work for Bam Bam as a soloist as well. Just like as an artist, they are just like solo pop lyrics. But there are certain song, there are certain moments in the lyrics like everything I do it my way. Like these, these lyrics feel so well so well placed in this song and in this music video everything i do i do it my way speaks to you know uh, an oppressive leader uh, as well as i feel like a lion speaks to kind of like the power that that leader feels but it also can just feel like the freedom of an artist who does whatever they want right the creative uh, artistic expression of that as well as just like the confidence and bravado of the artist too and then we're not going down 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 when you think about it within like the the regime aspect it it just it it's so it's so interesting because these can often just be like typical pop lyrics that you see like we're not going down but i think with with the inclusion of this storyline, it's just so much more interesting. Yeah, that's right. God, these intercut shots are crazy. Oh, yeah. those those shots of the slow mo of everyone dancing with the orange background is incredible. That's right. This is so crazy. Ooh. The shot of Bam Bam's eyes rolling to his left as the drums snare across. So cool. And the first introduction of the, cor uh, the choreo. Oh, cool. So cool. And then, oh, once again, nothing gonna take control of me, gotta set me free. Again, within the context of now this character, it makes so much sense, right? And again, even just as a performer, as an artist and a soloist, it also works as just a pop singer as well. Incredible. Fantasy when it's you and me, we a masterpiece. Rampage, parade, let's say, let's be the last to leave. Black shades, red rage, let's make this night eternity.
I particularly love the part where it transit transitions into the pre-chorus. The cut to the close-up. Oh, it's a great shot. Also, the we're not going down, down, down now work. It's the same exact lyrics, but it, it's the exact same. It's the exact same meaning, but it works also for the other side of this rebellious regime. It's fucking genius. Oh, it's so fucking well done. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I look. That shot's insane. Yeah, last parade. So the close-up already on the yeah, last parade is great. The cut to this shot as he raises it up, as he raises it up, wide shot, and then close up on the fist, and but coming down on the slow mo as he's pulling away. Oh, oh my God. This is so well cut together. Oh, again, on the hair hair, they speed it up again, or at least play it at a, a normal uh, frame rate again. And then on the oh, as he raises his hand, slow-mo again. Just the pacing is incredible. I love this shot that they included on this. Oh, it's a small, tiny little shot. It, I, it's one of my favorite shots in the music video. I don't think most people will probably uh, feel that, but this part on the horn, the burn, this shot as the camera lunges in as Bam Bam is coming up to the camera, it's little things like that. They have little inserts like that that is edited in throughout this music video that I think makes this music video so, so well edited and overall just extremely engaging. Not just because of like the really cool sets and the really cool setup, which obviously that feeds into it, but going from just, I think a great music video with a great idea, it's about execution. And I think the editing really pulls it all together. Oh. Just the, the sequence of flow of these shots are so well done. I also wanted to point this out that I just, I really enjoyed. Just thank you, whoever worked on this, for fucking dictating the lighting appropriately. <laughs> like, it's such an easy thing, but I feel like so many people, it, it's such a, also, a, a common oversight of just like, the directional lighting. It's, it's what makes it look more believable. Like in, in that the lighting source is above them in the middle. And so the, the more oppressive regime, the black regime, he's being lit here. And then this Bam Bam is being lit here by the common middle light source. It's what makes this shot look so believable. So cool. I love the shot of Bam Bam also just casually laying there reading a book as well. Something about that feels extra swagalicious. Ooh, ear attack worked on this. Hello. Okay. Whoa. Bam Bam. That was insane. That was, that was a work of art. I mean, you can see, I don't want anyone to think that this is like biting off of anything either because you can see like there's this shot of like the black uh, skull men uh, like playing the guitar might feel a little bit reminiscent of Mad Max. There are definitely pop culture, I think, inspirations, but I think especially with how the regime is played out, like the river of blood, like they add a lot of different elements here that are spread across different, I think, medias and different in inspirations that they really create, I think, their own world within this music video and space. 
So it feels definitely like their own thing. So I want to make sure that that comes across, like that it's not just like, oh, Bam Bam is doing just like his version of Mad Max or something. No, not at all. I feel like the there's too many other different styles that are being introduced that makes it so different. I think what makes it unique and what makes it feel extra genius is that it's clearly influenced by a ton of different things, as well as, as I mentioned, the lyrics just working across three realms of one regime, the other regime. And then when Bam Bam just performs this in front of his fans or at a concert or wherever, it also just works for him as just a singer, these lyrics, that is. They, they come off as very powerful, very boastful lyrics. Um, something I also really like about the song is the percussion. Like, this chorus, if you think about the chorus, it's actually pretty, pretty hard. There, he's not singing. It is all completely dependent on the instrumental. It's not just the fact that it's a really, really, really cool instrumental. I really love how it's, mi like, how w well mixed it is. Like, the percussion, I think, is one of the most uh, snappy like parts of the song that really calls for attention and i really like how very in your ear the percussion is and so that is something that i really really wanted to compliment as well god damn what a work of art wow last parade incredible incredible okay um Guys, thank you for tuning into my reaction for Bam Bam's Last Parade. Oh, I'm so blown away. Just incredible. Uh, the choreo is also really, really cool, too. I think the choreo, it says voguing. It says movement director and voguing dancer. Yeah, I was like, it looks kind of like voguing. Like, the, 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 the combination of all these different things that shouldn't mesh well together mesh as well it's it's got such a gothic influence as well as a mad max influence as well as like this almost greek uh epic literary painting sort of vibe as well as voguing like what he's doing so many things but it works oh it's incredible uh let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below for both the song and the music video uh would love to know your thoughts uh thanks for tuning in if you want to check out my other reactions you can check them out here uh, you can also subscribe over here. I'll see you guys in another video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys.